Dread Delusion is an Elder Scrolls style pixel art RPG set on a strange archipelago of floating islands. Being an indie title, I had guessed that it would be small, but there's tons of well written content and interesting locations to explore. I expect the game is about 40 hours long. We are Confessor 17, a disgraced politician slash Inquisition prisoner, on a mission to capture the most dangerous woman in the Sky Realms, Pirate Queen Vela Kalos. And if we somehow succeed, we'll finally win our stupid freedom. There's my boy. What's up, big dog? Good to see you. Oh, there's an island way up there, too. Bet we'll get to go there. wonder if we're going to get to go to every island I see that has junk on it. Well, we get a, we get an airship, don't we? We get the cutter. Back at the en exit of the fortress, the entrance exit of the fortress. Some more stuff over there to look at. That's where we need to go next, because there's buildings over there. And unspent delusion, I forgot already. What do we got? Right, I need to put it in this so that I can hold two spells. And it gives me more mana. Just some giant creature over there. I'll go look at it closer. Purple potion. Truth potion. Dispels illusions and reveals the truth of things. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. It's visible from a long distance away. Oh, hey. Hey there, traveler. How you doing? Oh my, what's all the commotion over yonder? I appear to be quite lost. I bought a map of these Oneric Isles back in Riova, but it seems to be decades out of date. That's the trouble these fringe islands. Every few decades, they float into different positions. Take my advice. If you're looking to explore, make sure you get an accurate map. The Erudite Academy is flying over Holoshire to the south of here. They're working on a map of the region. It's not quite ready. But you should try asking them. Worth a shot, right? Where are you trying to get to? The Endless Realm. As a boy, my mother would scare me with tales of cadaver crusades. They'd eat people and feast on their still warm bodies. It would scare me witless. I was dreaming to go in there, though. Godspeed, or no, good luck, and use logic and don't use magic. Peace, bro. This way to Sacred Shroom. This way to Pwill. Purveyors of the prophetic scry shroom tea. Magic tea. I like that there's a little lantern on it too. What's that? Magic light source? Oh yeah, they're like street lights. That's pretty clever. The Sacred Mushroom. Sounds like the kind of place you go after somebody tells you about a quest to go there. But I suppose we could just go check it out before we go. Oh, are you an aggro to me, dude? You are? Definitely aggro to me. Oh yeah, love the level design too. The level design's so cool. The way they the way they use um, their space. That is to say, the elevations of the map, the way it all curls onto each other with bridges and um, ladders and escalators and stairs and shit. There's a big mushroom. Is that a sacred mushroom? That's the biggest one around. Yeah, the trees with the blue texture. Those look sick. Those look badass up there. And the fortress. Boy, is it ridiculously large. I guess when you're fighting a god war, you need a big fortress. But it's big, all right. Any any treasure over here you want to give me, game? Nope, not at all. All right, so the sacred mushroom looks like it's gonna take us down and around. We're gonna go to Pwill Village first, see if there's any quests. We'll get the shroom tea. We'll give it to the Inquisitor. I want to see these street lights at night now. I guess it is getting to be night. No, the sun's still high in the sky. Howdy, how you doing? Is that a mushroom for a hat? That's pretty cool. The youth looks at you with caution. Wide eyes lodge in a gaunt face. Oh, a newcomer. Welcome to Puel Village. My name's L Lude. Lud, but with two L's. Were you uh, involved in all that commotion over at the old fort? Yeah, we won, though. So don't worry about it. Oh my, wow. I suppose there would have been a lot of blood and such. Yeah, there was fucking blood. He visibly flinches. I mentioned that our town is called Puel. We're just a humble village. He swallows. Have you heard of Scry Shroom? It's a mushroom that shows you the future. Things aren't going so well lately. People are worried. Oh, what's what's going on, kid? This is it something that killing people can resolve? Because I do that. Well, the crop yield is bad. Each year we've been growing less scry shroom. He looks around and leans in closer. I've heard some people are considering the old ways. Oh, magic and shit, dude. We're part of the apostatic union, see? So god worship is very illegal. He gulps. Anyway, the local weight master, Colwich, has gotten pretty spooked by it all. He's weighing everyone who comes by just to make sure they're not a Wiccan. But my mother, Olwyn, she's the mayor, by the way, she doesn't seem too bothered by it all. She's much too worried about something else. I've heard her mumbling about some sort of monster lately. I gotta get going, kid. I don't really have time for any more of your uh, your random quest hooks, all right, dude? Put an NPC. Dude, I'm gonna do this in my D&D campaign from now on. Put an NPC right here at the beginning of town. You walk up to town. It's like he's got uh, two quests for you. Get to town. You've already got quests. You already know who to talk to. That's a good idea. This is a cool looking little town. I like the mushroom house over there. Mushroom architecture. Who doesn't love it? Oh, yes. I can see him pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely a four winged Serpent, dragon, beast of some kind. I mean, gosh. Hey, yo. Oh, little path over here. Me, I just got distracted by looking at the dragon. Oh, you can see that guy, that big monster guy. I feel like that's going to end up being one of the quests that we get over here. Go kill that guy. Go fight him. Hey, nice, some ore. I think we need three in order to upgrade our rusty sword to the steel sword. You can buy equipment, too. 
Yeah, we come across the nice bridge. Walk around, across the nice bridge, looking for some new clothes, a better weapon if I can get it. This must be their farm down there. They grow the yellow mushroom. They grow up big and strong here. Oh, that's the scry shroom, it must be. I'm not trying to get weighed just yet. Got here, inn and merchant. Got here there, bard. Hey, welcome, pull up a stool. If you're looking for scry shroom, you come to the right place. He leans on the counter and thrusts a bulging eye in your direction. You know what Scryshroom draws, newcomer? Shows you the future. There ain't no cipher spell in the Great Library of Beyond that can do what Scryshroom does. It plunges you into the river of time, so you can see the bends and the currents rushing towards you. Do you know I grew this business? Not with luck, my friends, oh no. I used the humble Scryshroom to outsmart my rivals, and now my company ships them to every corner of the Apostatic Union. These visions always come true, old man. He squirms a little. Well, now, I can't say they always right. The future can be changed, see? And I won't be held accountable for any foolishness or failures you get yourself into after you use them. All right, all right, what are you selling? What are you selling? That's what I like to hear. I got a pot of scratch room tea on the brew. I've also got a room to rent for upstairs for two coin if you need some rest. Sell me shit. The compass is 20. I want that. Scry shroom tea, get that. I just want one for the Inquisitor, and I want the compass. That'll be it for me for now, Traveler. Looks like I can't interact with that. That's a shame. You got some bells around here too, huh? What's that in there, the bell room? Pretty loud. Is this like... World of Warcraft, like a ship will come and I can get on it. A little, oh, it's a little lighthouse. Cool. This is where I can dock my ship once I get it. I mean, look at the mushroom roof on this one. That's so cool. I bet that's the mayor's house. Oh, and they've got, they've got their own sacred mushroom, dude. That looks pretty, pretty unique. It's pretty old. I like the colors on it. Oh, and it's the graveyard. Can't click on any of these. And there's the bridge. So I'm going to need to get a passport before I can get out of here. And I have a feeling these people have one and they're going to give it to me. They're gonna need a favor. Ooh, I did not realize this was an elevator, but it looks really cool. More supplies. Oh, I don't need to see a lot of pixels to know that's some kind of goblin. Another gobby down there. Oh, I'm not sure I'm ready to tangle with those cats yet. I'm, I need to go talk to the uh, Inquisitor first. I'm back at the village, right? Yeah. I'm gonna have to run back, but it's not very far. And they're right here in the first room. How convenient. Inquisitor, greetings, Confessor. Got you the tea, bro. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. How thoughtful of you. He removes from his belt a tiny metal teapot. He slips some loose tea in the filter, and to your surprise, you notice it already contains boiling water. If you'd be so kind as to wait a moment, Confessor, I really must let this brew. He waited an uncomfortable few minutes in total silence while the Inquisitor stares at his miniature teapot. He pours the liquid into a cup and takes a sip. He frowns and is silent a moment. For Confessor, this is... Excuse me. Damn fine tea. He takes another sip. Tried an extraordinary number of teas in my time, and this is one of the best. My wife is gonna love it. Please take this in recompense. Beads of sweat appear on the Inquisitor's forehead, and he seems to be staring at something only he can see. Damn fine tea indeed. You think it's probably best to leave him be? He's tripping. Damn fine. Did we get a delusion for that? Or uh, just a little bit of points? And he gave us something else? Beer. Oh, put the compass on. What, he gave me money? Oh, he gave me a remarkable treasure. Oh, yeah, I remember this area. It's where I snuck through the hole and killed that guy. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, now how do I get to my bed? Don't save, don't save. Sleep, sleep until night, and then cast the home spell back to the village. Yeah, it totally worked. Save again. Yeah, they like illuminate pretty well. They look cool. That's the, uh, it's like a plant. Little magical light orb on it. Some kind of mushroom thrown that way on purpose, I assume. All right, so let's take a look at the old journal again here. Talk to the mayor, his mom. Very worried about a certain monster, probably that big ass one. Secrets and spores. In Pwill, Lud told me about the failing crops. Talk to Waymaster Culwich. So we got the inn, bought the tea. Should probably drink some just to see what's like. It looks really cool in here at night. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're the innkeeper, that makes sense. Let's see what you have for sale. I'd like to get a scratch room tea for myself. Creepy thief guy, you got anything? New face, huh? If you've got business here, talk to Dwin at the counter. I'm really only employed to make sure things go smoothly. I'm a mercenary, you see. I fought with the Bion Serpents, the Lundell Blackguard, even the Dark Stars for a time. Now, I protect this business. You drinking the, the Scry Shroom? Indeed. Tell me, did old Dwin ever over there give you a speech about how he outsmarted his business rivals by drinking this stuff? Funny thing is, he doesn't touch this stuff. Whenever he does drink Scry Shroom tea, he tends to get rather emotional and empties his bowels prematurely. <laughs> scry Shroom tea may be a popular drug, but that's all it is to most people. The shroom has such a potent psychedelic effect. Any premonitions are lost within the fantasy. But the premonitions are there. You just need a low dosage. If you were to, say, reach for your blade right now, 
I'd have my knife at your throat before you knew it. Was it fun being a mercenary? In my youth, I toured with various mercenary companies and ended up with the Dark Stars here in Pwill, a name I'm sure you've heard of. Yeah, I just killed a couple of them. But lately, I've been freelancing in these Oneric Isles, taking all sorts of jobs before settling in with Dwin here. Of all the realms I've been to, these isles host some of the strangest. I'm looking for some former Dark Stars. He narrows his eyes. Your motives better be fucking congenial. Exactly who are you looking for? Basalt. Oh, good old Jack. He smirks. In the Union, they still call him Shame of the Navy after he abandoned his rank and station and joined Vela's merry band. Below decks, he always found time to share a drink with those under his command, learning their names, their troubles. Of course, I don't know if that was thanks to a kind heart or his weakness for the strong stuff. You're meeting him in a pub, in a pub right? I sure am. All right, man. Take care. Take it easy. Enjoy your tea. It's nighttime in the village. Everybody's asleep, so I guess I won't go talk to him. There's more dragon footage. Just record the dragon. Okay, and here's the gate bridge. Should we ever, we didn't ever go up here. Greetings, the bridge is closed unless you're the bearer of a genuine passport. We're gonna get one. They're hard to come by. But someone around town might be able to help you. Have you met the waymaster? There's no wait function, but it looks like uh, it's about to be sun, sunrise. Let's go see if we can talk to the waymaster and see if he's open. Waymaster, waymaster. These are the uh, scry shrooms have been growing down here. Big yellow mushrooms. Let's go in here. Hey. Something's not right about this torch. Oh, secrets. What do we got down here? It's a golden lock. There's a guy in there. Can I see him? It's like a green guy. And that's the that's the biggest lock I've ever seen. What is that? An eight? It's gold. Remind me to come back to that. And there's Chud or whatever his name was. All right, let's just pay for the end then. Oh, the bed looks awesome, actually. It's night. We want to sleep till morning. Okay, and now let's talk to the Waymaster. Get a quest from him. And also find out about the passport. Hello, my lord. The man's eyes follow you with suspicion. His graying hair and weathered skin suggests he is older than most in the village. A faded scar runs down his face. New to town, I gather. We'll make. I'm the local waymaster. Name's Colwich. I'll have you know before you engage in any business here in Pwill, I'll be taking your weight. Now, another word. Please step on the scales. He gestures over to the contraption behind him, thanking you kindly. We'll see what happens. In Pwill Village, you met Waymaster Colwich, who refused to speak with you until you were weighed. You weighed yourself, and so she'll probably report back to him. Yeah, dude, I'm actually, uh, like, in service of the Inquisition as a prisoner, so I don't know how that's going to factor into your analysis. He studies the dials and symbols. Very interesting. The prime glyph says you're a criminal. That's right. He shoots you a stern glance. The lesser glyphs are harder to parse. Let's see now. Oh, this is sick. He's got magic. He's using wayomancy on me. Crimes of a magical nature. It says here you forced your you forced entry onto an Inquisition ship via a portal. You're either the smartest or stupidest wizard I ever heard of. And there's one more glyph. Inquisition agent. He looks up from his parchment, his face stuck with puzzlement. Thought you might be one of those Dark Star mercenaries running from the Inquisition raid. But you must have been fighting them scoundrels, eh? He's uh, with the law. We'll just give him the lawful answer. Far be it for me to delay Inquisition business. I'm approved your visit to Quill. You won't get in any trouble. He thinks a moment. In light of your profession, could you lend us this humble servant of the Apostatic Union a hand? There'd be a passport in it for you. Inquisition raid ain't the only reason we've been so eager to weigh people lately. There's also fears of bloody god worship amongst the town folk. After all, they've been through. He looks distinctly peeved, as well he should be, man. He leans forward and speaks low. Folk have been feared recently, you see. The soil dialing and harvests are down. Merchants want to buy our scratch shrimps more than ever, but we can't meet the demand. Some of them flirting with the old ways. Oh, I'll tell it straight. As you know, god worshiping, consorting with Wiccans or their god is a heinous crime. But I have reason to believe there's some amongst us who are turning to it. Try, uh, trying to fix our poor harvests. You're an outsider, an Inquisition agent to boot. Yeah, and I'm charming. I need to ask around and try to find any Wiccan sympathizers. We can sort this out quiet like before the villagers start lopping each other's heads off in a frenzy. I get the whole god thing, but what exactly is a Wiccan? Have these things gotten so comfy in the Union that people have forgotten their history? Well, I'll be damned. As long as people can remember, Wiccans have acted as mediators between gods and their worshippers. Supposedly, they act in the best interests of both mortals and the gods, finding both in a magical contract that made sure neither got scuppered over. Except here in Pwill, our Wiccans fucked us. Terms were all in Anguin's favor. We can't have been alone, because 40 years ago the Apostatic started the God War, and we weren't the only place to slay their own god, let me tell you. Alright, I'll see what I can do, bro. He sighs in relief. You have my thanks, newcomer. Just as soon as you find something out, let me know. Tell me about your scales, do they seem pretty interesting? These are morality scales. You'll see there's only one visible, because that's because it's magically linked at the fulcrum, through a bond of cipher to a scale containing the moral standard. The moral standard is a person carefully selected person who bears qualities deemed the epitome of apostatic union morality. By weighing you against such perfect integrity, we can tell by what degree your character is lacking. I'm looking for a Dark Star Merc, and I'm needing to explore these aisles. What can you tell me? Don't worry, old Colwich can keep a secret. You'll be wanting to go to Hollowtown. There's a Union Council building and a bustling clock where all kinds of sky ships lay anchor. Pass over to Union Gate Bridge, you need a passport. You gotta earn my trust to get my passport. Yeah, I know. I got your quest already, bud. We're gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it right now. 
as soon as I loot, loot the rest of your house. All right, and then we got to talk to homeboy's mom, get her quest. The mayor, I assume she lives in the awesome mushroom house, and she just stands in the middle of it, as one does. Howdy, Mayor Olin. The woman sits with her eyes closed, a pained expression on her face. Various medallions and necklaces hang around her neck. Flames, oh the flames. We have to douse the flames. She's prophesying, I'm not going to say anything. She looks at you with a frenzied intensity to her gaze. We've got to get out of here. The Nautilog will burn you alive. Nothing's on fire, lady. You fool. Even you are ablaze. Oh, how your skin melts from your bones. She stops mid-sentence and blinks slowly. After a moment, she says, Oh, nothing's on fire, is it? I'm terribly sorry. You caught me in the middle of a divination. Yeah, I, I was trying to let you go through it, but then you started bringing me in. My name's Olwen, mayor of this humble village. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. I might have presented with quite the dilemma. I was merely indulging in scry shroom to divine what manner of threat this giant monster could pose. Turns out it's really not too much of a problem at all. She gulps. I saw the giant monster. I mean, you can see it. You see, the small mercenary band has made a certain demands. Not Dark Star mercenaries. They're much less accomplished. Which makes it all the more puzzling how they've gotten their hands on a giant Nautilob. These mercenary scoundrels are threatening me with their huge Nautilob. They claim they'll sack the town if I don't comply with their absurd demands. If someone could sneak into their fortress to the southeast and ascertain whether this Nautilob thing has any weakness we could exploit, well, let's just say that person would find themselves firmly within my favor. That's me, dude. What if those mercenaries were to be all killed by me? That would be quite the tragedy. The idea of more blood spilled on Puillian soil is a horrible thought. Her eyes narrow. But of course, it would rather solve the problem here, wouldn't it? With so little funds to hire guards, it would be awfully hard to catch the perpetrator of such a crime. Okay, so murdering them all is an option. You know, I've been a Wiccan worship going on. God worship in Puil? Surely not. Uh, most of the villagers are old enough to remember the actively relishing the death of their former god, Anguin. For all the horrible things he did. Another OBJ on the list is we really want to find another piece of uh, ore so we can upgrade the sword. We have a workshop somewhere around here. There's one at the fort, if not in this town. And then she says, investigate their camp to the southeast and find a way to stop them. Secret of the spores. Investigate the village for signs of god worship and cultism. Okay. Kill bandits. I think we can get behind some of that right now. Get the old compass out. The old fort to the southeast. Is that it up there? Yeah, the giant fucking monster. No shit. All right, let's go. All right, let's take that elevator over there. Not a lod. What was he called? Something like that. He's colossal. I mean, it is a threat to the village. Oh shit. All right, bro. You're not fun to fight, dude. I don't know what your, what your deal is. I tried to entice you. How come it doesn't work? My charm isn't high enough. Drink a potion now. Let's see if we can sneak attack this one. Sneaking up on this guy. Coming right at me. Ooh, a little sword fighting one. That one had a, he just had sword moves. I appreciated that. Fortress is up there. Oh, there's the map maker's tent. I think that's it over there. Red tent, right? Oh, you don't see him enticed. Okay, whatever, sword of that guy down. I got throwing knives, I can use those too. I wanna go to the map maker's tent so that we can start working on our map, savage. Oh, and then there, I wonder if we can get up there if that's just like a little temple or something, a little shrine. Old abandoned shrine to the old dead gods. And there's a moldy tower. I want to look at that. And then we'll go to the fortress. Hail. Hail, map maker. The scholar has one eye pressed to his looking glass. As you approach, he squints. Pleased to meet you. Shoo! Oh, he's sneezing. As the scholar sneezes, he sprays a thick globule of mucus all over his looking glass lens. He wipes his face and looks perturbed. Bloody mushroom spores. Why did I have to be sent to Quill of all places to make this damned map? Hey, can I get a copy of that map? Actually, you know what? Maybe you can have a copy. As long as you're willing to work for it. Oh yeah, yeah, side quests, whatever, I can do it. We're making a new kind of map, a magical map that tracks the shifting movement of these islands and corrects itself. The real work is with the cipher spell we're weaving together, but I need someone to go out and anchor the spell to specific landmarks. Take this cartography notebook. This map will show up in your journal. If you obtain a compass, you'll be able to see yourself on the map too. Take it easy, man, thanks. Cartography. You equip that cartography notebook and use it. No landmarks, okay. Falling damage? Nope, we're good. Okay, so that's what we came up here for, the scrying notebook. Oh, look, you see there's a moldy part there, and then the whole middle's missing. And it's anchored at the top there to the island. Wonder if we'll be able to get up there somehow? Probably not. Probably not. Unless there's a magical elevator. It's a monster. I wonder if we can entice this guy. Let's see if we can sneak up on it. Oh, it already saw us. That kind of beat the shit out of me. Really need better weapons, and also I'd let him hit me because I didn't know if he was charmed or not. I'm trying to get this charm spell to work. And I'm not sure if um, 
it's just because my level is low or if I'm not actually like hitting him. It doesn't have like an, a visible projectile, so I'm not sure if is it, is it a touch kind of thing. Okay, that's the Great Mushroom, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing. I don't want to go to that yet. That's the way I came. Wait, now I'm lost. Hey buddy, anything around on the back side of the tower? Not really. It's hard from the other side, so maybe this is the way out of... Oh yeah, look, there, oh hey, there's my dragon friend, hey buddy. You can see like a blue thing up there. That might be like the same as the magical elevator that we used just to get down to this level in the first place. And it's chained to that island and I think that's a bridge. So maybe this is just the way off of that, whatever that is up there. Assuming that's gonna be a dungeon of some kind that we can go to or explore. Yeah, there's another bridge to it right there. So I love that you can see like this whole world map is like so interconnected and like, I don't know when we're even gonna be able to go to that. Because our bridge that we're going to next is back that away, back that that away, yeah. Okay, I want to go look at that if I can. Then I'm gonna home a spell back because I'm pretty much lost. So if there's like a way to get up there. You, there's a ledge there. There's a way around there. Okay, I'm kill this guy with stealth. Sneaking around a giant mushroom tree. Stab a beholder claw guy in the face. And actually, I'm gonna try to stab him in the back. That's my goal. Seems like as long as you stay out of there, like 180 degree field of view in front, no like mechanic or hearing or anything. I'm gonna get him. Yeah, it did most of his health. He's way up somewhere. We're going up here. Yeah, this is it. Sick pillar right there. Gold. Downward chop. If I'm moving back, the front stab. Is it always the front stab? If you're moving forward, it is. And if, if you're moving back, you get the chop. If you're moving left, it's the chop. If you're moving right, it's the chop. Okay. Oh, what do you have here? Squirmling godlet. A squirming, writhing creature that looks at you with wet, beady eyes and occasionally squeals with some unknown intent. A little baby god tadpole. I still don't have a bow either. Really, my only ranged option right now is my throwing knives. Let me see if I can stealth this guy. He already saw me. Okay, hopping around kind of worked. With this path up to this little building, a lot longer than I anticipated. I don't even know if I'm going to the right one anymore. Going somewhere. It's this cool temple building I thought I was going to, I think. Oh, and there's one over there in the water, too. More ruins to explore. Oh, shit. Look at you. You got a big ass sword. I can't get hit by this guy. You got a big sword, dude. I want to get hit by that. I don't have a lot of health right now. We're getting up to some real adventuring. Oh, there's a delusion here. That's enough prize. There might be something else, too, over there. This angled part is slidey, so I, can't, I gotta, like, hold it sideways. Can I? How am I gonna get around this corner? I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, there is. Falling damage, I guess. Another potion. All right, we're pretty beat up right now. We need a might of three to break this down. My might is two. I would just throw a point in might and break it down. I don't have the delusion for that. There is a secret door over there. I wonder if... Oh, there we go. This candle... Oop, can't jump over that rail. Candlestick right here. There's another one here. Oh, we're looking for one more somewhere else. I'm gonna look at the outside of it. Can't get past that. It's all it used to be one big structure, and this used to be part of the main building that opened that secret chamber. That's a pressure plate trap chest with spikes on it. Cypher spear, yes. Okay. Shoots a bolt of magical energy to damage a single foe. Though the apostatic union heavily regulates offensive magic, the navy donates heavily in order to keep wizards like me in business. Oh, and I walked on it anyways. An axe came out of the ceiling and hit me, but I didn't die. That's nice. Okay. Now I have cypher spear. Now I'm a real wizard. I can kill people with magic. Let's go home. This looks like an interesting landmark. Let's read about it. Let's read about it in my journal. Cartography landmark. A trifling detail. It will help flesh out the map. And just in time, I'm now exhausted. You heard any rumors of god worshippers in Pwill? Now look, that's a pretty nasty accusation to be thrown around willy-nilly. I'm not accusing anybody, it's just a harmless question. Damn right you're not accusing anybody, because I'm old enough to have lost family to that bastard god. Thought of bringing him back since chill through my bones. If there really are folks around here praying to Anguine, and I'm not saying there are, they'd be doing it under cover of darkness, I'd wager. Only last night I saw someone lurking in the dark as I was packing up. I want the rent. I would like to rent the room. Rest until daybreak. All right, I don't want to confuse myself. I want to stay on task. Keep going after the rotten onion boys and their giant monster friend over there. Now that I have a spell, feeling more confident about my combat abilities. Would this path be easier? Looks like it. Looks like it would be considerably easier. Yeah, I was just exploring random uh, jungle over there. All right, and if I get tired, I've got stamina potions. Got mana potions. Let's try our spell out. Hits them pretty good. My lockpick skill is lacking. This is only a two. Statistically, I should have gotten it. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, we got our third iron ore, so now we can forge the non-shit sword. We'll do it after this adventure, whatever. And I cast my spell twice, and I ended up with, what, about 20% of my mana? This lift is not active yet, so I can't go up to that cool island over there. It looks like there's a bridge, a drawbridge over there, too. Cool little mushroom house over here. Let's we'll see what that is. There's the, I forgot what he was called. It doesn't say in the journal. He is colossal. How are we going to beat him? I don't know. So you got any tips for killing that giant guy? Stop right there. You're not ticking, are you? No metallic limbs, leaky joints. Because you might be a mechanical contraption hiding in the skin of a person. A synth, if you will. We don't look at me like I'm daft. It's perfectly reasonable. There's synths everywhere. He prods you for a few more minutes. Well, I'll admit, you don't seem like a mindless killing machine from that blasted Clockwork Kingdom. It's just the attacks have been pretty jumpy. You've been attacked by the Clockwork Kingdom? Tell me about what is the Clockwork Kingdom? But folks say their Machine King went mad, and now some of their gadgets and gizmos are spilling across the border and wreaking havoc on my crops. Don't laugh, I'm being sincere. They've been coming from the east, where the snow's been falling. Funny thing, it never used to snow there. At first, they were just little things, but lately, a huge metal bastard has taken up to tend to my crops and shrooms with weapons. I try to shoot away, and it attacks me. Yeah, I'll try to kill it. I'm a wizard. I used to be a politician. I'll shoot spells at it. We'll see what happens. Where are his crops? He's a shroom farmer. Sneaking up on a monster. Sneaking up on a monster. I'm sneaking up on him. He still got me. It's that little status effect. Can I see that anywhere? Poisoned. The dot. Ow. That's no good. Enemies got mechanics in this game. I got dots and stuff. I'm hoping I can get a healing spell somewhere around here too. Gosh, that thing is just enormous. It's an enormous one of these regular guys that's floating around. What else we got on the way up? A stealthy advance, if you will. See if we can stealth our way in even. What am I supposed to do? Deal with them somehow? Killing them all is an option. Ooh, another landmark. Cartography cipher chart. Write it up, write it up. He doesn't seem to notice me. No, that's good. It's only had the two spells, so I'm not sure if it's worth it to keep pumping occultism yet or in anticipation of getting more spells if I should indeed do that. Is there a way of getting up there and just making my spells better? Because like now that I have a magic missile, oh, there's totally gonna be a back way up the island, right? Yeah, I can probably jump down that way. Oh, and this is where the machines are in the forest. There's the forest, machines in there, I assume. If we have the resources, we can tackle that before we go back to conveniently placed boxes for if you have a high enough uh, agility, you can jump. That one I feel uncomfortable about, but I think I can make it. Yeah, it's like an eight. I'm gonna need, what, a six? Hey, we get it on the first try, why not? Why wouldn't we? All right, so we got some banditos. We don't need that. Avoid that. Oh, he saw me. I'm getting repped for killing these guys, okay. Just giving me tons of lockpicks. Oh, he's chained to this giant thing. That's awesome. They're, so he's chained up. They don't, he don't have control over him. They've just got him held hostage. Drink a potion. My health back up. Mana's doing okay. Buddy over here. One over there. Let's see if we can get a sneak attack in. Oh, he immediately saw me. These guys are good. And he's a better shot than me. <laughs> Shielding potion. Temporarily boosts armor. This potion floods the bloodstream with a simple spell that can deflect attacks. Although it deflects hugs and handshakes all the same. There's a different shot of him. There's a chain. Looks awesome. All right, so we're doing pretty good. Killing him one at a time. Let's see if we can blow some lockpicks anywhere around here. I like that I have the option of just trying to get the six. Even on the, like, eight locks or whatever. Oh, here we go. Here's my opportunity. Since it's an easy lock, I'm sure I'll fail it many times. Oh, never mind. We got it. Got hit by his. A delusion. Hey, we've embraced the delusion? Yes. I kind of want to keep increasing wisdom. The desk contains a number of scrawled notes, mostly pertaining to illusion spells. From what you can find here, you can surmise that someone was trying to cast an illusion of significant scale. There are numerous anatomical sketches of nautilobs. It seems that the giant monster isn't all what it seems. It was a trick this whole time. Wow. Wow. We've uncovered the mystery. Break through here. Got it on the first try. I don't know how that keeps happening. Just lucky, I guess. Man, it's sleeping in this guy's bed. Sick. Take his most prized possession, fine ore. Oh, nice. We'll be able to upgrade our sword, and we're already working on our next upgrade. Assuming that we can find a thing to do it. Can I break this? Nah, it's unbreakable. Yeah, both lock. Oh, ni knife. Nice. Take this. Yeah, we can fit that one. It's getting late. Still got bandits to slay. The monster's not even real. The rowdy rough boys here are just, like, being dicks. Oh. One more? Nope, not enough mana. Can I get a throwing knife at him? Hang on. Oh, hi. Got him. Oh, he drink a potion. What a piece of shit. All right, well, let's try the... Oh, let's try this one. <laughs> awesome. That worked very well. I liked that. Hit this guy with one. He's running. Probably not a bad move. How do I get down? Oh, over there. Keep my eyes open for secrets. Or it's called occultism is the name of the skill. Keep my eyes open for clickable secret items. For occultism purposes. Okay, I got an illusion, because I assume I completed that quest. That counts as completed, right? The quest was 
that I killed them all. This guy's an illusion, so we don't need to worry about him. What does that mean for me? Does that mean I fucked up and I'm gonna miss content? Whatever. I am not going to reload or redo it. I'm going to play it where it lies. That's more fun. Can I sleep in your bed now? Now that you're dead? No. Under your bed, is there any secret clickables? Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it. Fuck that, who cares? Walk on these pipes, that's cool. Oh, I slid down the pipes. You can see there's like some kind of wiring going around as well. There's metal, like catwalk type stuff in this stone fortress. Very alluring. What is going on exactly? Still walking on the pipes. I'm stuck there, I can't go there. Can't go anywhere. I'm now stuck, okay. Completely stuck, porting out. Waymaster, waymaster, I've got good news for you. Welcome back. What can old Colwitch do for you? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I was thinking of the other guy I did a quest for. I'll be back later. Oh, look, excuse me. Excuse me there. Mayor, I've killed all the onion boys. You're back. I suppose I have a few moments to talk. You don't gotta worry about the giant Nautilob anymore. Wow, this is splendid news. Please tell me the details. Uh, it's an illusion. Also, I killed all the guys. I can't believe I didn't think of that. So this town is saved. We're not gonna burn alive? Hurrah. Anyway. Please take this reward along with my heartfelt thanks. You've done Pwill a fine service today. 20 gold, a fine treasure, and a delusion. Not a bad reward. Oh, so I, because I clicked on the note, somehow I got the resolve the situation without too much bloodshed. I mean, I killed like six people. So secrets in the spores. Somebody's been skulking around in the night, which is what the shopkeeper at the, the inn told us. I want to go back to the forge to make the new sword. I don't know if there's anybody in this town who could do it. It's just this building, that building, the little graveyard, the big giant sacred mushroom over there. That must have been, oh, that must be like their god or their god's mushroom or something because it's all dead, right? They all hated him. And that's it. There's no other buildings. Yeah, okay. But I check always behind the waterfalls. So far, there hasn't been anything behind the waterfalls, but I feel like I'm gonna, if I get complacent, I'll miss it. All right, so I'm gonna go all the way back to the like weird, there's like a forge on this backside over there. And then I'll just port back. As you can see, like I'm sprinting and you can see my little max stamina has already gone down just like a little bit. I'll zoom in on it. Yeah, I think there was like a forge in this. I don't know why. Why it's here and why I remember that. The drunk girl's in here and the forge, yeah. Yeah, forge it to the steel sword. So it does five, upgrade to steel sword. Now it does 10. Oh, it looks a lot better. And twice as much damage. Does it say how much damage I do anywhere? Attack 10, 12. What does might give you? Does not, does not might give you damage? Attack and defense, which are skills. Increases damage done with physical weapons. I'm doing 12. So maybe it's one da one extra damage for five points or something like that. We'll in keep investigating the stats as we play and figuring out what's what. Oh, oh, what are you? Oh, get these illusions. These illusions on my screen. Get out of here. Fuck off. Oh, that's nice. Three hits on those guys now. That's nice. Yeah, we got a real sword now. We got a spell. We've even got some exploding potions. Got a decent amount of gold. Completing quests. We're about to be somebody. Life's going pretty good. We were a prisoner for a while. And hey, maybe we'll get killed on the way to killing Velikolos, but uh, I don't know. Things are looking up. 